Hey, Richie. All right. <clears throat> Just give me a second. I'm going to put on a little intro so I can share it out real quick, and then I'll pull you up. Got this now. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull up Richie. It's been a long time coming. Been trying to get together with him for probably a year. Anyway, Richie Salter's in the house. If these shows resonate, would you please share? We are getting suppressed again. We can't share at all. We we're not getting our notifications out there, so we'd appreciate it. Can you hear me, Richie? Hang on. Hang on. Wait a minute. Myself. Oh, we're good. There you go. Oh, <laughs> what's, what's happening, man? Long time yeah. coming. It's a long right time now. coming. That's right, <laughs> man. Right you are. Happening. You are like a. You are like a a human cannonball. I mean, your, <laughs> your energy is like no bullshit, all balls, and just <laughs> straight. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know what your story is. All I know is your your vibration, man, your frequencies. And... Yeah. But it's a, Just, it's a, uh, ple it's a pleasure to, to collaborate with you after all this time. And thank you for always supporting Soulji and everybody uh, else. You support a lot of people and you're, you're always there. So, Absolutely, brother. Hey, thanks for that. It's what we all do, man. It's why we're here, you know. I don't know. So, uh, how, what's your story, man? I mean, were you born, <laughs> were you born like this? Did you come out of the womb like yeah. this? Yeah, I, I, I pretty much came out, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I remember all of it. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> we got much up in here. Come on. Uh, okay. you do whatever you got to do. I have a feeling we're fixing to get lit up here. <laughs> so, you know, one thing about your, uh, your vibration, you actually, to me anyway, you have uh, a connectivity that you, that I mostly see or mostly have seen, well, I've seen it in very few men. I've mostly seen it in women. The light language, the connectivity, uh, the illumination, uh, the understanding even. Uh, and I don't know if that's relevant, but that's, I've noticed it. And so, um, The pure divine inner knowing. Yeah. Divine power. To sum it up. It's uh, attaching the, the, the diamond heart, the 
crystalline diamond heart to this meat suit. Yeah. And basically looking at life as being you're a puppet, but your conscious mind is the puppeteer. And it's just one aspect of you, just one little glimpse, one particle of you. Yeah. But uh, it's really that, it's really like that. You know, um, I've been doing a little experiment where I stare in the mirror and I purposely cross my eyes and I create a third eye that I can visually see. Then I go inside that eye and then I cross my eyes again in, inside of that and it becomes two again. And at that point, I'm actually looking back at myself. Wow. Yeah. That's powerful. <clears throat> yeah. I spent a lot of time looking in the mirror the last few years at times mm -hmm. and uh, looking into my soul. We're doing it right now, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you right now. <laughs> yeah, man, but I need to get one of my do-rags out. I haven't worn any do rags in a couple of months or several months. Yeah, I, I always keep uh, some sort of you know crystals or something up in there. You know, uh, you can see it. You know, always got something going on up in here. <laughs> so, so, do you have like a? Do you have like a kindred uh, primary or set of primary uh, connections or energies that you connect to, like galactic or? angelic or is it all of it all of I mean, it yes yeah all of it all of it yeah um like right prior to this um i basically just caught in all aspects of, of myself all aspects of self of source um and all realms all layers you know all dimensions all elements of what we perceive as just being life. There's that's just over and over and over and over. It's always just now. It's always in that present moment. But there's what we would call, you know, thousands and thousands of years of this soul knowing. Yeah. How long you been doing light language? Uh, <clears throat> really probably ever since I came out, you know, came out the vortex, <laughs> but, uh, recently, uh, speaking it. Yeah. About two, three years now. Wow. Yeah. Um, I've always kind of, you know, done like these little chants and stuff as I was, you know, a little, but, uh, it's not really so much a sound or or a, or even just a frequency, but it is. But it's um, it's that pure divine connection between all that I tap into, and you know I can do it with just my thoughts. Yeah, I, I can just see it all, put it all together. Wow. Communicate that way. Did you have did you have to deal with a lot of traumas in this incarnation, like a lot of these star seeds and light work? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't have it any other way, you know. Um, if we did it to be all, you know, fluffy and and puppy dogs and kittens, you know, uh we wouldn't be running around acting like boys and lions, you know. Yeah. Um it, it, it's really a matter that you're your source and you can be or do anything you want and you know that you're going to be able to do it again and again and again and again in these different little movies that we create, you know, that we're directing in or we're acting in or we're watching or ticket taker, you know, we're selling a concession, we're doing all of it. Yeah. And, yeah. There's a couple of things I noticed about you too. One, is you put out these little memes, which have, uh, you know, have some uh, typical spelling and some, well, it's all coding, but the way you frame it up, it's full of code. I don't yeah. always understand it, but I always, <laughs> but I always get it. 
Yeah. Look at it, and I know I just got that download. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I notice is you're you're pretty level, um, and you don't seem to get caught up in uh, like a, the global stuff so much. I mean, you zero aware? mind traps. Yeah. yeah. Zero mind traps. It's all mind traps. Yeah. If it's something that's outside of yourself that you're not actually creating in. It is not real. That is the mere illusion. Mm. And that is a mind trap to take you away from your divine self. And that's yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I've Obviously, noticed. something happens right in front of your face, you're gonna you're gonna respond, you're gonna react. And that's that emotional energy right there. That's the goal. Say that that's again. What, that's what builds the pyramids. Is that emotional energy? If you saw like a uh, if you actually watch a saw a baby getting eaten or molested or anything it's going to pull your heart it's going to take your emotion that emotional energy that that frequency and that is actually what has been uh been harvested from us you know yeah. and we actually wrote this whole entire script that's right you know that's right we yeah. knew we were doing it and that we didn't know we were going to be at to get from this yeah we we wow. thought we knew what we were getting into but we built a pretty good mousetrap didn't we <laughs> yeah yeah but I love I love the the frequency of your energy because you don't get you don't become um, you don't give your power over. Mm. I notice you don't give your power over to the story, to the narrative, to what's going on in the global stage. You own you stay in your power, and you also seem to be very comfortable in your own skin. Uh, you know, a combination of humility and power, um, and I guess. You know, I know it's a stupid question, but the, I'm assuming that had to take a lot of work. Um, it, it 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 could be uh, perceived to be a lot of work, and in some aspects or in some generalization, it sure it is. Um, you know, you have to get your ass beat a few times in order to you have to actually know how to defend yourself properly. Not saying physically, but know what that experience is like um well i can relate to that yeah uh but yeah um i think what i i, I said to say now um i think what happened with me is i was was always um working in the others an astro and um i basically am more there than i am here now so <laughs> so if i just all of a sudden drift away you know why <laughs> No, I get you know that. I, mean? I get I that. Get, I, get, I just go. I go where I gotta go all the time, you know. You know, people talk about uh, embodying and anchoring. Where does uh, is there is there a a proper balance? Are we here to anchor all of that and and root ourselves in this experience, or are are we supposed to be in the middle between the ethers and the earth? I mean. What's your take on it? From what I feel on that, um, you don't really want to have to anchor into anything. You actually want to be able to flow with it and just be in that neutrality with everything. Yeah. Um, you know, look at you know you you don't look at uh, like water running and say, I see that one little <laughs> piece of water that's different than the rest. You know, it just all flows together. So. When you look at your human aspect, say, as that, as being that water, light, water, um, it's the same thing. You can just basically just flow it all, um, regardless of what it is, you know, um, because those things that are your attention getters that grab you and it gets in your gut and you're like, I got to do something about this, right? Because you just, you attach to that emotion. And you put out your your energy with it, um, especially with words, you know, words to words. But uh, like I, I don't even I try not to attach that, but I know I have to utilize what I know to to help. Um, just kind of you know, brighten the, the path a little way, you know. Um, but uh, yeah. So I'm not sure if I answered the question right. But yeah. That's yeah. And then and then no no you did absolutely, which leads me to the next thing. So, I mean, obviously, you've got a very good grasp of 
your multidimensionality, let's put it that way, <laughs> of your true essence. Uh, and from my point of view, because I'm trying to learn, you, you know, uh, I know with that, with that awareness, and I can relate to that, I think most of the people here can, uh, you're planted here now by our own choice, by our own design. Uh, what, what do we do now? 2020s here. Uh, all this stuff has happened. All this awareness. Celebrate. 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 There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, we made it. It's been done. Thanks for showing up. We made it. Yeah. We literally made it. Yeah. Right on. What we're doing is we're being drugged through the mud, if you want to look at it that way, or you're being just kind of getting real dirty here and there. But um, of a story that's already <coughs> already done, it's because it's, it starts at the beginning. The beginning is the end. It's, yeah. like, it's mirror mirror. So, if you know that you're you are pure divine, love, light, God source creation. Do you worry? Do you have anything else to think about? Is there anything else to even let come into your into your reality to take you away from that huh. purity? Is there anything? I can't think of anything other than uh, what Nothing. I want to what I want to create, what right. I want to do. You know, right? And it's not even want then that that goes away. It's just a thought. Yeah. My 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 computer computer brain essence, whatever it is that that puts me in different realities that I don't like, you know, I don't know if I get here. Um, that just runs on, on the program. It's like a recorder. It's literally yeah. a, a recorder. And, um, you know, when I attach my, my heart, <laughs> my crystalline heart, diamond heart to the, to the cosmos from the, from the center of the, of the of Gaia, up through my root chakra, out my crown to the highest star in the cosmos. I'm online. There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing I'm, I'm not. Definitely. Wow. When you get this light language, does it come with messages or does it just come through as a frequency non verbally? It's, well, I, with me, because uh, I'm getting these like angelic type things. Um, and it's basically all the same. It, everything's the same. It's not like it's angelic and then there's galactic and then there's, you know, this, this branch. It's, it's all, it's all now. It's all that one now. It's the big bang. Yeah. Basically is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the, the big bang theory. It's, it's just a big twisted story. I think this is really it. It's where all experiences, all layers of every, uh, seen in the movie have been melted into one because it's always been that yeah and it's now we're actually aware to realize it and to flow with that and to utilize it for the better miracle and anyone that has any ill intent i pick up on that frequency instant it's like an alarm going off in my head i'm on it and that's why i work i just go from here you know you like I do yeah. bounce now. I don't do anything to hurt anybody or anything like that, but I know what I'm doing. Somehow I don't know how I don't I couldn't explain it. I couldn't understand. Yeah. No, I get what you're saying. Well, it's that uh, it's that uh it's that intuitive, you know, mixed with that imagination, whatever that is, because I'm not yeah. really just imagining. I mean that that whole complexity of thought processes, yeah. if that's what you want to call it. Um but what you're talking about too. It, and, and I know you've been observing for a long time. Uh, it seems like, you know, people talked about the great divide for the last couple of years. Like, you know, like it was some kind of huge biblical separation. And I don't think that's really what it is, but that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, is that what you're talking about, your ability to perceive accurately, uh, let's just say when uh, someone has agenda, or isn't isn't in alignment is 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 something that's very viable it's very real and uh i would think in your journey it's expanded uh, and you can add to this and also do you do you really think that it's 
expand into everybody as this collective expansion occurs? You think that everyone is going to start to to be, uh, you know, given privy to uh, a higher intuitiveness and telepathy? Yeah, it's impossible not to. It's it's absolutely um, probable. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where it's it's like a it's like a, a fail check or a check fail system, you know. And that's where it's always been. It's just now it's in a higher frequency. Is everything's vibrating higher, faster, and our frequencies are raising as our frequency raises, guys raises, and it's all one. It's not it's not two. And that's the same right there. What I'm talking about is actually what is within our, in our breath. We inhale. one all one one circulation to where you do that three times you should start to just go into the into the ebb and flow there's nothing there's no restrictions um so yeah um wow yeah, so and one point i want to make is if everyone at one time if we all got into one breathing pattern one sequence breathing sequence we would Literally, they just take over. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Because we're actually controlling it. We're actually, yeah. you know, we're the guts to it. You know. Well, we're we're yeah we're controlling it, but we're also restricting it. <laughs> right. That's that's it. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like you're you're playing chess against yourself. You can't cheat yeah. yourself, but you know you you know, it's just that ultimate challenge. You know, and once you realize it, you don't fight it and you just flow with it. Well. And the whole thing about uh, we're restricting it, which you know you can you can uh, describe as worrying or uh, anxiety or, or uh, fear or whatever you want to call it, um, the fact that that's going away, the fact that people are actually stepping out and saying what you're saying, you know, they're saying, "Look, I can just what else is there? I am I am all of this." So what else is there? What else is there to think about? So let me just, you know, that, that, I mean, that's talk about being present. I mean, that's really where the magic occurs, isn't it? That's, that's what really ignites the imagination and the intuitive and allows that perfect flow that only happens in spontaneity, you know, with no that's forward thinking and no backward thinking. All the magicians are on the stage. It's a showdown, you know? We're all just doing our magic. And, um, you know, people are doing this without even, they're, they're, you know, everything, even myself, I mean, everyone, every, everything is one. And it's all a matter of it integrating as it integrates, different layers fall away. Yeah. They don't just go away. And that's the kind of stuff I've been dealing with is actually taking that stuff and cleaning it up and then reprocessing what can be and moving things, um, shifting things and, you know, filtering and harnessing and everything I can do. Um, just this morning, I, I did a big thing of jealousy, it's all about jealousy, very strong. Um, but, you know, the other night I did, a, you know, anger, fear, uh, despair. And anguish. you're doing this, you're doing this as the collective, for the collective. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and, and everything, uh, this is a question. Everything is utilized. Is anything left behind? Is there anything that's not no. part of us? I mean, oneness is oneness, right? Right. There is no, There's nothing gets, nothing gets on, on a uh, purpose. It's everything's purpose. If it doesn't have a proper purpose, it does not go through. It's as simple as that. There's confirmation. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I do. That is that's what I do. I make the whole monitor for the energy game, you know. How about the, uh, the uh, I saw a couple of posts you did. Now, this is going back a couple of weeks. <clears throat> and watching watching things <clears throat> from this chair I sit in. Uh, I don't know. Distorted masculine identities dying. Watching brothers and some sisters with the masculine wound, acting out, projecting, 
uh, you know, obviously unconscious about it. But uh, do, do you has has the masculine uh, come into further alignment, uh, or and or uh, is is the energy or the coding available for anyone that wants to correct a masculine wound, masculine distortion available now in a bigger way than it was. Yeah. Um, it's all encoded within everyone. And with the masculine energy, there was a lot of corrupted, uh, very distorted, uh, dirty energy. Um, that need to be purged, need to be, you know, taken care of. Um, I've been working on it. I mean, it's just stuff to rip your, your stomach apart, you know, when you do it. And it's not easy, but whatever. Um, but uh, all that now has been basically uh, put into position to be to be moved along and put into a, into a higher purpose, into, you know, for the, for the greatest good. Um, Right on. Everyone is already tapping into this, and there's not that they don't have to do anything. That's the whole thing. There's nothing to do, just be yeah. really all it, it's all it is. If you're thinking about anything, you're 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 off you're off the mark right there. Just stop thinking. Stop it. <laughs> you know so, so, <laughs> let it go for me. No, no, I'm digging this. So so what you're saying is because I mean everything does change. I mean we talk about inner work and shadow work, and I'm not advocating anything here. I'm just trying to, to have a conversation. That was a big, big part of our early wake up experience. Not that it's not still there, but I'm just saying that was a big, big part of finding out who we were was finding out who we were not, who we thought we were. But what you're, what I'm hearing from you is, is, uh, and I totally respect this. Uh, if you're, even, if you're, whatever you need is going to present itself, basically, just be, right. you know, you're exactly. saying just be, allow, uh, you know, feel the grounders as they come to you, you know, I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting from you. It, 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 that sounds like a less stressful frequency. Yes. Uh, but I like what you said about if you're thinking about anything, you're, you're uh, restricting the uh, flow, basically. You're, you're off, you're already out of your script. You're already off your off your. You look at a, the script, your story being um, uh, laid out or drawn out like a map, and it's like map. And your that that lit up road is your is your travels of your of this life, this life's like experience, and you can basically just fall back and do nothing at yeah. all, and you will be carried through that script. Yeah then and you can just go through it and that's what it is you don't make any choices whatsoever you just go you go from the heart and just go that's for anybody anybody at all at any time and when it's time times now because that, but that's what happens we get programmed and got everything else and you gotta let that go because that's all my trash to make you keep going back to it because once you think about it, you actually recreate it and then create another program yeah and then you, that starts to loot, and then it's a memory thought stream, and you're feeding yourself, and now you're actually destroying yourself. Yeah. The whole point is to is, is to know that you're already in that perfect sort of self, uh, state. You know, you're that big golden aura, right? Yeah. Uh, last so, of love. Yeah. That. And so it doesn't matter. This is again. This is a question. I'm not trying to. So it doesn't matter um, what the the, the, the story is what the narrative is or what the experience is experience uh, what the element or the aspect of the experience is it could be an et abduction it could be a family drama it could be a traumatic situation a rape yeah. or an injury or and and you and what you're saying what it sounds like to what you're saying to me is you created it Whatever comes your way, you created it. And yeah. the question, I think the, what, you're, what you're saying so well is the question is, are you going to retain your sovereignty and your power? Are you going to give it up to the illusion you created? 
something like that. Yeah. Um, and that's what the matrix is right there. When you're, how you're, I guess, uh, articulate what I said or how you perceive it or how you're, you're, you're feeling that, that whole vibe. Um, yes, you're creating it and that's the matrix in itself. It's the subconscious program. Yeah. And it's just, the, it's the, it's not the program. It's actually the recorder. It's the whole, it's everything. It's in your subconscious mind that when you think it, you actually project it out to light. And that's what you're seeing. You're seeing what you're, you're seeing your thoughts come to life, basically. Yeah. You know, now, um, yeah. Now, somebody just <clears throat> asked a question, Karen, Karen Shunk, which it's, it's not so much the, the specifics of the question, but it's a great question in terms of, uh, consideration beyond just this incarnation so she says how do we create an et abduction from the age of two or four so i guess the way i would uh, further the question to you is are there some things that uh, that that occur that we experience in this incarnation that actually have their roots in previous incarnations yeah, and you can't, but you can't look at it as being a previous incarnation because it's just the car. You're in the car. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Car doesn't have an automobile. Car is an automobile, right? Yeah. So, and that's the whole thing is, and it's 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 so easy to do just to fall into that that duality, you know, over and over again. And that's what happens. And um, to answer your question, yes, it, it's a story that you pre written and the movie is being played in reverse, and you're thinking that you're going forward, and everything's actually going backwards. Yeah. And sure. so, yeah, and, and you you basically wrote these things in your script to experience that, to know that this is where the story's going, that you don't have to, you don't have to hold on to it. You can experience it, you can notice it, acknowledge it, give it gratitude and say, I love you as you say goodbye to it. Yeah, I love this. Uh, I love what you said. That's probably one of the greatest quotes I've ever heard. You think you're going forward, but you're actually going backwards. If you can really get the energy of what he said with that, um, that's that's accurate. Yeah, that's actually it's really, accurate. It's like, yeah, it's like it's like it's like we're we're all we're all stars in the movie, and we know the storyline is going this way, but really the movie's being played in reverse. And we're we're reading our lines and going through the, the the scenes, thinking that we're going to, towards the end of the movie, and we're not. No. It's actually the beginning. It's in reverse. So now you're you're running around and you got you know you're, it's just it's it's self uh you know sabotage effery all day long. Well, you fight life, life fights you back. Why? Yeah. So, and, and going back, and thank Don't you, Karen, and thank you, Karen, for your questions, and um, Candace for your comment. Uh, so, I'm gonna I'm gonna utilize this question to to catapult this in, sure. even further. So, we come in ready to take that shit on. Uh, Candace says I had these abduction experiences too. Now. I've had experiences, you've had experiences, and I think what Richie's saying and explaining so well, it doesn't matter if it's a memory, if you remember the physicality of it, uh, it doesn't matter if it's in dream state, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Right. The whole point is, is we're moving backwards, you know, from perfection, so to speak, all right? And uh, anything that comes in front of us, whether it be a person, a place, a thing, a memory, whatever, like I just went over, we have a choice. It's either going to have power over us or it's not. And it doesn't matter how real it feels. And I think that's one of the big things that we've all had to struggle with, but everybody's pain and suffering is the same, proportionate a, to their life experience. It's yeah. literally a, a self-induced program. It is. It's it's a program that we put on ourselves. Yeah, well, I think exactly. Right. No, I'm. Yeah. No, no. You're right. You're right. It, it, you know what? We should speak in those terms. Really, I think it's time we can let go of terms such as healing and pain and suffering. But you're right. It is just a. Pro it's a program. It's simply it's a, a program. So you're you're God, you're God, you're, you're the creator, all right? You get to experience all these different things, however you wish. Are you going to come back and say, well, I didn't like it when you played that one part. How you were a, a baby that got, got, got killed in six days uh, after getting a vaccination. 
Are you going to say that? Are you going to think that or feel that? No, because it's just part of the movie. <clears throat> it's literally part of the movie. Everyone's just playing their parts. Everyone's playing a role. Yeah. And the thing is, is it's already done. We're basically being shown the movie, but it's 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 not it's not like we're watching a movie, but it is. You know, we don't realize how actually how virtual reality uh, uh, design this is. That's what and, it is. And it is, yeah. So I mean, it, it, abductions stuff like that, and like I was in bed the other night, and uh, I I, don't know, I had a bike accident last year or two years ago, and I dislocated my shoulder. I had a like, very limited use of it. Um, and I went to a crystal bowl, uh, singing bowl healing session, and it did wonders for me. I, I highly recommend it for anyone in pain. Um, I couldn't move my shoulder. I couldn't like, even pick nothing up with it. So the other night, um, I'm sleeping and at a dead sleep or working, whatever. And uh, I wake up and I'm literally pinned down to my bed. My shoulder is pinned down to it. I couldn't move. I couldn't feel anything, but I felt pain. But I didn't. I wasn't feeling the pain. I could feel what the pain felt like. I got to see my pain from a different aspect. It was like I was uh, experiencing. I was actually experiencing it from from the out from outside yeah. myself. You weren't physical, but I was. I was wired to that conscious, yeah. Yeah. to whatever was going on. You know, yeah. and I'm laying there, and it's like, all right, here. You know, I, just, I remember hearing click, 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 and bam. It was like, I could move again. Yeah. I remember being pissed off because I couldn't move and I, I didn't like that feeling. But and then I realized I was actually myself doing this. Yeah. It wasn't like, something well, inside of me. It was just another. Another part of you. Another another particle of me. Yeah. Yeah. That is all. Uh, particle, the, uh, of you, particle of everyone watching. Everyone is ever watching. Everyone who's ever seen. Yeah. The. You know, uh, the the light body i mean in, from your perspective what is the light body what can we do with it now you know uh you know what are its capabilities how do we work with it you know can you give us any insight on that um it's not something i really think about but i mean i do kind of in a way you know i can i can like basically walk in somewhere uh, in a store anywhere uh, in front of people and they just can't see me. I can always go, it's like I'm going invisible, even though I'm not, but I am. And I can, like, I'll be sitting right there next to them, they won't even know. You know, yeah. just by controlling the frequency and everything and just being like, not coming off, you know, in a different vibration than them. Or whatever the situation is, you know, just kind of blend right into everything and just be it, just flow with it. Um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> with the light body, it's, it's, um, it's really no longer a body either, but I know we don't really know the words to use to express these things to articulate them. So, yeah, you just look at it as being like, you're just, you're just pixie dust, you know, <laughs> We're like that, you're just like, poof, and, and being able to constantly be aware you know that you are that you know and one thing i've by uh, meditation i i uh was showing some ancient birds of egypt or some ancient i don't know i was showing a couple of things and um and i had there's a guide with me and um i'm sitting up in this balcony thing and all these people and this big wooden carved bird and stuff and it was pretty pretty wild and he says or a voice says, you see that? I acknowledge yes. You see that that is you, you are that. Yeah. This happened twice in meditation. So it's something that stuck with me when I just, the more I, I started to go within, the more I tapped into what truly is, um, which is everything, which is not yeah. anything excluded. Um, and just knowing that anything that is not of a vibration that I would see beneficial, then I, I need to instantly reprogram my own subconscious mind of how I feel about that. How yeah. does that make me feel? What's emotion being being created 
because that right there starts to generate the chakras and use yeah. that's that's the power of creation. Yeah. Bring the thought and the emotion together, the equilibrium, the left and right, the bimassive and feminine. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good explanation. It's a good comment here, <clears throat> John Shields. There's a fine line between what your mind wants and what the soul agreed to experience. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Have you seen any significant, I know you make comments sometimes about it, but have you seen any significant or what are the more significant glitches in the matrix, so to speak, or uh, anomalies or whatever uh, recently that you've seen that maybe other people can pick up on? Um, well, like things like where you'll put something down and like, you know, you turn around and it's not there. Yeah. And, like, you know, and three days later, you see it like sitting outside of your car or something. You're like, <laughs> like you know, things like that. Um, yeah. I had, a, I had a lady write me yesterday uh, that's been around quite a while. And she said that uh, she was staying at her daughter's over the holidays uh, for, I guess, Christmas night or whatever. And her, her and her husband, <clears throat> and she woke up. And it was 5.33. And she got up and, you know, went upstairs and maybe, I don't know, made the coffee or something and looked at her watch and her and her husband were in the kitchen or whatever. And it was now 7.33. <laughs> yeah. And she said, well, we haven't been up for two hours. He said, no, we've been up about five minutes. Those kind of things. Yeah. I think on, on a personal level, but I think on the, on the collective, or the, the, say the global level, have you seen any cracks in the veneer of the matrix that stand out to you? Uh, yeah. Um, I saw a couple of things like, you know, I'm, I'm always seeing things actually. It's like, and that's it really. It's like everything you're seeing, you're thinking, you're, you know, you're being, you're hearing, you're tasting, you're touching, you know, everything is all coded. And if you kind of look at everything as like a, Pixelated TV, there's different pixelations that aren't coming on anymore, or they're coming on a different color that, that wasn't used, uh, used to be there. And it's um, starting to make a different picture. And I'm starting to see things like, I see like a lot of things like that. Yeah. I see like, like these big plasmatic type sheets being being like crisscrossed over and um, things like that, like straight lines and uh, uh, kind of amoeba, amoeba shaped. Uh, yeah. like just particles, you know, like particles. Yeah, I've um, seen, I've seen some, I've seen some of those straight lines you're talking about for the last. I, I think I started seeing them in the summer of 2018, like grid lines. Well, I don't know if they're grid lines, but they're. I've seen they look like they look like. Uh, yeah, it's like good. almost like framing behind the the uh, overlay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, quarantine you know and things like that um if you, you ever uh, if you're in a lightning storm just get a you know videotape it videotape for a few minutes get a couple lightning crashes and then go back through it and just kind of just you know go through it real slow and look at it. you're gonna see like where it's like dimensions are being shifted around wow. the storm. yeah um, do, do you think that we're going to collectively uh the earth cut well what am I trying to say? Do you think that we're going to, um, how do I say this, ascend beyond physical death as a group in this simulation or in this virtual reality? Um, you mean what people uh, have been spoon fed to believe that death is, you mean? Like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, something? I mean, yeah, to the point where if we actually didn't believe it, we wouldn't even age. You know what I mean? We, you know, we wouldn't be sick. You know, we wouldn't die. Whatever. But yeah, you know, with with the like, co the consequences. That, that, yeah, that is. I'm going to say most likely going to have to be part of it in some in some uh, realities. Yeah. You know, if some if someone actually chooses that to be. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yes, I do know what you mean, because I, yeah. I have to respect everybody's reality. I can't understand everybody's reality, you know? I mean, 
yeah i can see where i can see where it could go many different ways um and i guess that's the beauty of all these individual fractals of source having individual unique experiences right so there's nothing to really take to heart yeah in any of that yeah the only thing you want to take to heart is your own heart yeah take 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 it be it that's it nothing what else part, to take to heart. what you part know, of the yeah go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. I, was, I was gonna say i mean that's really it when you realize that when you connect that like i said to the core center gaia imagine a beam of light shooting down through the center of the earth directly below your feet or next to you if you want and it's shooting up to the stars yeah and you step yeah. into it bam. that's it yeah column of light yeah um there's a question came up. I'm not going to go to the specifics of it, but this goes back to what you were talking about at the top of the show to a degree. Um, when we have a concern or an issue, which ultimately is a judgment of someone else and what they're doing or what they're not doing, it's really not about them. That's still just another external something that's not even it's it, i'm the one making it real i'm the one so to speak i mean you know what i'm saying it doesn't have to be yeah i mean we're we're creating the resistance period right and if we're yeah. projecting that on someone else that's where we break the code you know i guess it's I mean, um like I've, I've been recently starting to say, uh, expect giggles, right? Expect giggles. <laughs> yeah. you know, I did that maybe two days. And then one night I fell asleep, I was just laughing, giggling and laughing. And I woke up laughing so hard that I started crying. Yeah. You know, and I'm just like, wow, that's where it's at. Because I'm putting that out there to be, expect giggles, man. There's nothing else for me to expect. Expect to laugh and be enjoyed. No. Right on. Yeah. That's a good exercise. I yeah. like that. <clears throat> yeah. Before we head out, is there anything that you want to do? You know, blessing, light language, more commentary, anything, any messages, anything <clears throat> that you want to talk about, anything at all? The floor is yours. Um, I can just say, I want to, uh, <clears throat> to really just kind of uh, ground, ground daily, be grounded to Gaia. Um, those are the all the uh the photons, all the positive ions getting stored in the body, um, become like a static type dirty energy and will kick up anxiety and uh post traumatic stress disorder and depression and the suicidal thoughts, and all these things. So, when you ground and you connect, the guy, you you go to a state of neutrality neutral out and it's really imperative for people to do this because if you don't next thing you know it starts to build up build up and then now you don't even think about it or you think that maybe just five minutes is enough and maybe it is um you do it enough it becomes part of a you know routine and i suggest people just kind of be more self-aware of their own uh energetic being yeah. and their their role uh, what's being put up on a cue card in front of them, they're going to respond or, or, or react or just go, new movie, you know, just pop <laughs> up these days, you know, there's no reason to get caught up in anything. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, with that, I'll just do a quick little uh, activation thing or something, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. Good show, no.
Thank you, man. Much love. Well, what part of the country are you in? Um, in the dream? <laughs> in New Jersey. Oh, you're in Jersey. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll see you later this year. All right, y'all. I look forward to the next time, all right? You take care. Cool. Thank you, man. I felt that big time. <laughs>